Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the BMW GS, which I have fondly named Bumble. Um, bright yellow BMW Bumblebee, why not? Um, so I introduced this in my last video, uh, this is my new to me anyway, uh, BMW R 1200 GS, that video is linked just up there if you haven't seen it already. In this video I'm going to be looking at doing a few upgrades to the bike things, I want to change because I'm not happy with all things I would like to change to try and help with the longevity of the bike. Uh, so in this video I'm going to be fitting a new screen, uh, I'm going to be changing tyres, I say I'm going to be changing tyres, tyres have already been changed by professionals. Uh, I'm also going to fit a engine guard, a oil guard and I've also got some engine bars but I won't be fitting those as they're going to be powder coated before they're fitted to the bike. So. Let's get into it. The first thing that's come to the bike, the screen, it's got a couple of cracks on there which I'm not happy with. I think it really takes away from the bike. So I'm going to change that. I'm actually going to change it for a slightly larger screen uh, from, I believe it's Wunderlich. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's German. Um, but it's slightly broader and slightly taller so that should help with the, uh, with the wind protection as I'm going to be using this bike mainly for long distance. I'm looking forward to having a little bit more protection from the wind. Uh, the other thing I wanted to change that I really wasn't happy with were the tyres. Now, I've gone for some Michelin Road 5 trails. Um, I've heard very good things about these. These have literally just been fitted uh, down at S&M Motorcycles down in Banbury. So thank you very much to those guys for fitting this. They did a great price on them as well. Um, and they're not... Um, paying for this plug, I'm very happy to give them this plug for their excellent service. They've fitted them in about, about an hour, so that's fantastic. Um, so already I felt a big difference with these. I'm very pleased that those have been fitted. Uh, next thing that I'm going to fit is going to be a protector down here. So this is the bottom of the engine. I've read that these can very easily corrode because you get a lot of dirt and muck and water being thrown up onto the bottom of the engine from the front tyre. Uh, the mud guard isn't quite long enough. You can buy mud guard extenders. Um, I'm not going to go for one of those. I'm going to uh, fit a engine protector, and those are from Simark. I'm also going to be fitting a oil cooler guard as well. As you can see, I've already fitted a headlight guard with my name in it. Uh, that was the first thing I did because those units are quite expensive to replace if you do get them chipped. And as that one was immaculate, I wanted to get it protected straight away and start enjoying the bike. The first change that I made to the bike was tyres. Uh, these are some old Metzellers, I believe. Um, I looked at the date on them. These are from 2006. So they are quite old. Uh, for me, they've gone, they just feel a little bit loose. They don't give me the kind of grip and therefore they are taken away from the confidence I've got in the bike. So I've changed from Metzellers and I've gone for some Michelin Road 5 trails, which I've heard very good things about. I have to say, just driving back from Banbury, uh, big shout out to s Motorcycles in Banbury for fitting these, did them for a great price as well. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, I have to say, the grip that these have got already is miles better than these old Metzellers. Now, they've been kind enough to let me keep hold of these because said there's plenty of tread on them and if I do take the bike off-road, rather than risking my nice lovely new road tyres, I can chuck these back on and not worry about them. So, that's first thing done. Next thing I'm going to fit is going to be the screen. So let's get the old screen off. Oh, look at that! First go and I got it right. Good old 10 mil. Talk amongst yourselves. Right, let's let this off. Now, let's have a look, shall we? Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Another perfect shot. Never usually this calm when I'm working on something, by the way. Usually I'm shouting and screaming. That's a good start, yeah, that's a noise you always don't want to hear is something falling. Let's see if I've learned from the last mistake. Holding the back all together so it doesn't fall out. There we are, screen off. Here we are, the old screen, the original screen that's come off. I don't know if you can see this, but just down there, 
there's some cracks and so forth. I probably will get another original screen just for originality on the bike should I ever wish to go back to it. But that's the old screen. Here is the nice shiny new screen. As you can see, it's much bigger. It's also um, this one tinted, smoked, pretty. Wow, that looks fantastic already. Da -da 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 -da. Remove original screen by removing. To... Yep, 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 yep. Ever wish you could just clone yourself? Fit in the bloody. Oh wow, that. So there's two little rubber things on there for this. You need four hands. And now I've dropped the nut. Oh god. This will all be edited down to make it look very, very simple and easy. Winner, winner. Right, so. Ah, oh dear. Picked too soon, and now what I've done is I've put the tool down. I'm going to watch this back and work out where I put that tool. Do you ever do that? Like when you've got a tool, you just put it down and then completely forget what you did with it. That's the other thing I do to put parts there. Pocket! There it is. Oh, what a muppet. Doesn't that look so tight, I can't now adjust it. Job is going to be fitting a protection plate down here, which I've been looking forward to doing to be honest. This does enable me to do one thing that's been bugging me. Do you see this one bolt that is rusty? He is going just the head. Look at look at this. Look at that. Just the head. Just the head is rusty. The rest of it, fine. <laughs> One, two, long spacer at the bottom, short one at the top. I had a neighbour a few years ago who's always outside tinkering with his bike. Never got angry with it. No one understand why. Look at that. Look how satisfying that is. Cymark. Brilliant. Now you might be wondering why didn't I just go for an extended mug guard? I think that's going to offer more protection because that's actually covering the engine rather than covering the wheel. So anything can happen now. That's won't be that shiny for long, guarantee. So final job now is to fit the oil cooler. So let's have a look at the instructions for that. Fitting the cover can be tricky to fit as follows. So if you get so please give us a call. Da -da -da. Remove the black plastic cover. I haven't got that, okay. Place the cover against the cooler, insert the top. Underneath the beak. Oh, look at that. Right hand mess of bed. <laughs> I love Simon. In your left hand or a friend hold in place for you. Hold the bracket at the rear of the cooler and with your right hand mess about with an Allen key turning the fastener until it bites to the thread. <laughs> I am messing about with an Allen key. Anyway. Yeah, that's good. Look at that. Straight on it. No problems. No word of a lie, Sam came in about five minutes ago and said, I'm going to do some pasta, you've got ten minutes. It took me half an hour to fit the screen, and I fitted both of these in seven. Right, I'm just going to give them a quick nip with this, probably don't need to. Lovely. That is fitted. Oh, look at that. Mm, very nice. So the front of it now. Oh, doesn't that look good now? Oh, there is something. Something I forgot to do. Yes. Just down there. there. Yes. Wonderful. There we go. So, bike is done. B. 
bigger screen. Sarmark Ool Cooler Guard and an engine protection as well. And new sticky rubber as well. So there we are. That is the bike all done to how I would like it done. I've had those bits in the garage probably for about a month. I'm pretty sure I ordered most of those before I even got the bike. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'd say the side mark bits, fantastic quality. Really pleased with those. Would give them a thumbs up. The Michelin rubber, I'm going to see how that goes, but I'll give you a review on that in a few videos time. Give it a couple of months, a few hundred miles. That screen, I'm hoping that it's not going to wobble too much. I'll find out tomorrow. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do give it a like, and right underneath that, you'll find the subscribe button. Have a look at the rest of my channel. If you see something that you like, there might be loads of other videos on there that you like as well. And I always publish new great content at least once a week. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hope to see you again soon. Hello again. Right. I did say that that was it and that I was going to get some engine bars and they were going to be refurbed. And literally as I started editing this video, a nice parcel turned up from Nippy Normand, which is a set of brand new Wonderlich engine bars. Deserves new, doesn't it? Right. A little extension. Let's fit these, shall we? Nippy Normans are sent me my favourite thing, which is a sticker. I love a good sticker. I think I'm going to need my big tool chest for this one. Alright, let's start with this. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to get the cloth and put that over the engine. Have you got your shades on? That's bright as, isn't it? Hello. Hello. Now look, I dropped the tool. I'm blaming you when I want one side's on. Then you've got to hope that this side also marries off. That's got tight. Yes, look at that. Now, is it right or left? It doesn't say. I think that's left. Where the hell does that go? Done. Oh no, grub screws. I don't know why they put the grub screws on the inside of this. But this is the worst place. Now I'm done. Crash bars fitted. I've taken quite a blue for those. Right, that's it this time. Crash bars fitted, screen fitted. What's that fit? Oil cooler guard fitted. And the engine, bottom of the engine guard fitted as well. Oh, and tyres, of course. That's it, bike ready to go. All that's left for me to do now is go out and enjoy it. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do check out the rest of my channel. There's loads more great content on there and I publish new videos every week. So if you like bikes, if you like cars, vans, tanks, anything basically with wheels and engine, if you like it, it's on my channel. 
I'm really excited to say as well that I'm very close to announcing all of my 2021 event dates. So make sure you subscribe for that. You'll be the first to know about that announcement. There's also a few surprises coming up on the channel as well. Uh, there's obviously going to be more bike videos. There's going to be more car videos as well coming up. Anyway, thank you again for watching this video. And whatever you do, stay safe.